Before this video starts, I just want to quickly say I now have a Discord. The invite link will be in the description below. You guys can join it if you want to talk or you want to ask me questions. You want to ask me like stuff one on one. If you need help with Blender, you just want to chill. Anything really. Uh, you can join this Discord server. But let's get into the video. Geometry based displacement is here now for Eevee. Now, if you don't know what geometry or geometrical displacement is, it's what you would use in normally cycles to get a three-dimensional effect on your image to where it actually comes off of the mesh. And usually that is very, very difficult and tedious to do in Eevee. But uh, BBN19, or Ben, um, has made an add-on for free on Gumroad. And this add-on simulates uh, ge uh, geometrical displacement in Eevee. So, let's get right into it. So to download this add-on, you would go to this Gumroad page. It says Gumroad page um, in the description. It's the first link. Um, you can basically, under here, I've already gotten it, but it would be name a fair price. You can be zero if you want it for free. Or you can just type in whatever number if you want to donate to them. I highly recommend donating to them. It's a great add-on. So once you have that, um, you'll download a blend file. Um, it's actually not an add-on itself. It's a blend file. So you just go to file and open or if you want to um, the shader if you want to get the shader uh, you can just go to file and then append and then go to wherever um, wherever it is and if you're not already in the project you can just go to materials and then the PBR shader displacement so in the blender project what we can do is we can look at all these uh, demo things that he has here this is the demo file that he's provided but it works with pretty much any uh, materials or any mesh all you have to do is just replace these um, textures and then just put your own mesh in put your own textures in and yeah that's basically it um, to get the uh, to get this shader set up all you have to do is go to file and then append and then find the blend file um, and then just go to materials and append the PBR shader displacement material but um, if you don't know Geometry based displacement has pretty much only been a thing in cycles and it is very tedious and hard to do in Eevee so it's near impossible to do in Eevee actually. So uh, geometry based displacement is really really big for Eevee. But one thing that makes this different than geometry based displacement is the fact that it's not geometry based displacement. So we can look at this and clearly see that there is stuff coming out of the mesh like right here down through here There are rocks coming out of it. So what's going on here? So if we go over here to this kind of flat one where I can zoom in a little bit better What we can do is we can scale this up really big and We can look at it. We can zoom in and We can start to see what's going on here. So basically what is going on here is it's not actually displacing the geometry you can see right here it's basically stacking planes of itself on top of each other to make that 3d effect which is really cool uh, that's something I've never seen done before in any 3d program or any render engine for that um, so it's basically just stacking itself on each other to give a 3d effect and it is 3d it's a bunch of planes stacked on each other to give it depth and displacement um, but from a far away like view, you would never know that that is not actually displacement. So uh, you can use this with pretty much any texture you want. Um, as long as it has a displacement map, it'll work. Uh, displacement map, height map, just different stuff like that. So right here is the actual shader displacement um, node group. So if we hit tab to go into this, we can see what's going on here. So. We have um, a group input, obviously, with all the values that you can change up front. We have a bunch of math nodes with a mix RGB, uh, more math nodes, and a group output. So, uh, I'm not going to pretend to know what these math nodes do, but from what I would assume is it's basically getting a bunch of values from the displacement map and trying to stack the planes on top where they should be needed. But yeah um this is really cool um it's really really cool actually uh to see this uh happening in blender so we can turn it up and we can start to see better where the displacement is but yeah uh you can change the displacement settings if you want it's a lot of cool stuff really cool stuff actually but yeah you can definitely see how this could be useful for a lot of people um 
it's it's just displacement in Eevee. But yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. If you liked it, then make sure to hit subscribe, uh, like the video, and yeah. Uh, thanks, guys, so much for watching. My name is Michael from Polygon Island, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.